usually after scaffolding and uh, you know that scaffolding creates a very beautiful interface many people get confused as to where to start that is when you really need to fall back to the initial guide that we wrote before this is our initial guide so we're going to start working out the processes uh, step by step the first thing is that the users um the user registration needs to work out well and we, which we've already sorted out and then the social media login we've already sorted that out then we have the multiple user levels those are the roles um, that needs to be sorted out so we're gonna go and make sure that um, only admin can see anything that has to do with roles then here also we have to make sure that the user profile works out well okay after we sorted this out we can now move to the nomination section and start making all these other user stories work out well okay see you so we're back only admin needs to see user roles we don't need any other person to see user roles okay only admin needs to see list of users we don't need any other person to see list of users and um what else only admin needs to see settings and then um nomination users we don't need anybody to see it nominations okay we need uh, any other person can see nominations categories and votings all right so let's go and arrange the menu like that remember where the menu is in layouts menu so we take the votings at the bottom and take it to the top put it at third third all right so then also we take um we can now here make sure that only admin can see it see it according to the way we designed our database admin has a role id of one right so first of all let us go and create the roles i'll come here role click on roles and um i'll pan to the right add new i want to create all the roles we need we need admin role enter save and uh, we need um which other role do we need we need moderator maybe if admin employs staff that will manage this platform save it and somebody could be a member of an audit firm audit firm so we're just putting this in case you, you may not really need it save in your own design you can add in an endless number of rows so uh, in our own case the last of voter let's just say it, voter the last one is voter it has an id of four which means if you go back to our database and go to roles you see that all these things i've added is now in our database look at it's all in our database and it has an id of four so when we made this user when this if you go to this user's profile profile you'll see that this user has a role id of four which means it's just a normal voter okay all right now we've created all this we want to make sure that anybody that doesn't have the role id of um anything below two because see in our database admin and moderator has two so we don't okay let's just limit it to admin only admin can see can manage people's roles okay so we can the way we can do it is do an add if this is how you write an if statement in blade so you come here and end it end if all right so we can now say what we're writing about is if of user role id put this arrow well role underscore id is if the role id of the user is greater is um less than three which means it's either sorry uh if it is one only admin can see this right settings rules okay so far let me just not do admin uh ad only admin can see rules all right so let's just do it somewhere here only admin can see rules so rules is at the bottom you'll see why i'm doing it like this then i can copy this and put it here so only admin can see rules but moderator can see uh, okay only admin can see settings if you want because settings involve the voting cycle okay list of users and stuff maybe moderator can see list of users in case there's any complaint um okay so we can now do this copy this paste here so this is only 
if your ID is less than three, it means you are an admin. If your ID is less than three, it means it is either one or two, which means you are either an admin or a moderator. So we want moderators to be able to see this and this, but admin uh, should be able to see this, 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 and this. So we're going to do another end if here. I'll move this to the middle so it makes sense. So what I did here is just tricky. Let us take another look at it. If your ID, you can only see these links if your if your role ID is less than three. It, so that is strictly less than three, which means it's either um, one or two, which means your moderator or uh, an admin. You can see the rest of this, okay? But then here we put another if statement saying that if your ID is not exactly one, you can't see these two. So this simply means admin can see these four, moderator can only see these two, and uh, every other person sees all this, okay? So we get back to our app and refresh. Most of these things should disappear right now. They disappeared because I'm not I'm neither an admin or a moderator, all right? So cool. Um the next thing we're looking at is we need to fix the user profile and we'll do it in the next video, all right? So I have to stop this one.